Welcome guys to the third episode of YouTuber Analysis and today's video will be about an upcoming creator called Foolish Gaming or known as Foolish G. I will go cover what his channel is about, what his current role is on the Dream SMP and his future as a creator. I will put timestamps on this video for the different topics, but first, we're coming so close to 300 subscribers so it will mean the world to me if you guys subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the video. Foolish J joined the Dream SMP on January 16, 2021, but what did he do before he joined the SMP? Let's find out. Foolish Gaming, or more known as Foolish G, created his channel on April 23, 2016, but his very first video was uploaded on March 11, 2018, and it was a Fortnite video featuring his friends Luke and Noah. He played a lot of Fortnite and uploaded a lot of Fortnite videos to his channel, differentiating in type. Some of the videos were Fortnite funny moments and some of them were Fortnite challenges. Around late 2018, he decided to upload more games to his channel like Black Ops 4 and League of Legends. His videos were doing alright, some of them were getting hundreds upon thousands of views and this is very impressive if your channel has under 200 subscribers. His upload schedule was great, he uploaded almost daily if not 2 times a day. On May 24th, 2019, he had 200 subscribers and uploaded 200 subscriber special where he played Fortnite with his viewers. His videos were doing great, he uploaded these Team Fortress 2 movies and they were doing amazing, boosting his sub count even more. Mid 2019, he started to get into Minecraft. He started uploading Minecraft factions and he had a lot of fun filming those videos. And after 17 episodes of that series and then accumulating over 1.5 thousand views, he ended the series. Shortly after, in the summer 2019, he started up a Minecraft hardcore series, which didn't last very long since he only had 3 episodes on it. He didn't die in the series itself, it probably just got discontinued. Then he got into horror games and he enjoyed them a lot, having 12 videos on the beast inside and 12 videos on layers of fear 2, all uploaded in a row and I suppose it was some kind of Halloween special since they were uploaded in the span of October and November. When 2020 rolled around, his year started off great. Around the time when the game Valorant came out, he started making a lot of videos on the game and those videos were getting a lot, but I mean a lot of views. His videos were getting above average views for his channel and other types of videos were getting boosted by his effect as well. And it wasn't only that. Around early June, Dream started his Dream SMP and fully started uploading Dream SMP related videos. Those videos were mainly reaction videos and those videos were getting a lot of views since the Dream SMP was just starting out. His videos were getting 100,000 to almost a million views and then he had 4,000 subscribers on August 19, 2020 and 3 days later on August 21st, 2020 he had 5,000 subscribers. After that, he was starting to get into speedrunning. He streamed speedrunning Minecraft a ton on his channel. He was quite good at it with a personal best of 2549 which he puts him on 177th place on the speedrunning leaderboards. After some time of him making Dream SMP related videos, Dream noticed his efforts. Dream noticed him and commented on these videos. After doing that, Dream joined his Discord and asked Foolish to add him. Some time passed and he got invited onto the Dream SMP. On January 16, 2021, he got invited onto the Dream SMP by Dream himself. Since everyone that gets invited by Dream gets invited last minute, he wasn't expecting it. Foolish J is the newest Dream SMP member being invited on January 16, 2021 by Dream. Foolish is a friendly and kind server member, if not a bit daft or foolish. He was ridiculed lightly by Sam for thinking that the prison was just an inescapable hotel and for thinking that the growing red vines were just flowers in blue. Nevertheless, he is still a nice person and makes friends quite easily. When he joined the server, he was greeted by Dream and he started giving him a tour around the SMP. They first visited the community house and then made their way to Eret's castle. After sitting at Eric's castle for a couple of minutes, he made his way down the prime path and went to Tommy's house, checking it out and how it was burning. After exploring for some time, he went to the prime church and that's where he got introduced to Bonk. The second he made eye contact with Bonk, Bonk started mugging foolish. He took all of his items and threatened him to get his first life. So Bonk started to count from 5 and after 5 seconds he started chasing him. He tried camouflaging as a pumpkin and this obviously didn't work. When Punk found him, 
Foolish instantly started running and he obviously died. Then he continued exploring the SMP. After asking if anyone wanted to go mining with him, Foolish was invited over to Snowchester by Tubble. After arriving at Snowchester, he was given a hoe to get potatoes before also being given a full set of diamond armor dubbed the Tubble Starter Kit by Tubble. After that, Foolish finds a zombie villager for Tubble to get diamond tools. He then decides to make his Snowchester house next to the Project Dreamcatcher Research Lab and above Jack Manifold's Snowchester house. In a recent punk stream, Foolish mentioned that he has the power to bring the dead back to life due to being a totem god. Foolish then went to say that some unknown people mentioned that Schlatt was in debate to be revived. He also found out that from a distance he is able to make creepers evaporate. Yeah, some people have been wanting me to try to like raise him from the dead from my, with my totem powers, but I just, I don't know yet, I don't know if that's, oh. if that's quite, yeah, yeah. Also, Captain Puffy adopted Foolish to be her child. Foolish's plan is to keep making Dream SMP Relay content on his channel and on his Twitch channel. He has made one Dream SMP Relay video since the first time he joined and has continued to stream daily over on his Twitch channel. He has amassed over 105,000 subscribers on YouTube and 82,000 followers on Twitch. He sure has a lot of potential inside of him and I can't wait to see what he'll do in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on YouTuber analysis and thank you for the support on the last one, it means a lot to me. Could you guys please subscribe because I'm so close to 300 subscribers on YouTube and I just want to hit that as soon as possible. Thank you and see ya.